morning. <laughs> Million six, right? Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the, get in the car. Right? You know the children aren't stupid. I know, they have them tested. But still. <laughs> Every morning they have the uniform, the backpack, the lunch pack, and they still have to say, get in the car. Yes, that car, that car, the only car in the garage. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the, get in the car. And you know, you just feel like, you feel like you're not even talking, like, do you not, am I talking out of my ass? I asked them that one time, I lost my mind, I started to cry, I'm looking at all three of them, I said, is mommy talking out of her ass? And the baby looked at me and said, can you do that? <laughs> Smart men are. Listen, they're oh, brilliant. Guys, how many times do you tell children to get in the car? One damn time. And then what do you do? You leave them. You leave them. You drive them away. Oh, yeah. Oh, daddy doesn't care if Junior's foot was in the car. My backpack made it in the car. But, oh, daddy doesn't give a rat's ass. Daddy will drive away with one hand, adjusting the rear view mirror. As all the other kids look in the rear view mirror, look at your brother, look at your brother. Yeah, he's crying, he's crying. Tell me when he gets close, I'm gonna slam on the brakes, that's gonna be fun. Daddies don't feel bad about that. Daddies, daddies are making memories. Daddies know children are stupid. Daddy's, daddy knows Junior's gonna sit right there with him at dinner that night. Daddy, remember when I didn't get in the car? <laughs> and, and I was running, remember, Daddy? I was running! And the neighbors were yelling at you, stop the car, don't go back! And then Mommy came out in her robe like this with her pink curler right here going, let him in the damn car! Get back here and pick this kid up! I want to play that again tomorrow, Daddy. <laughs> now it's the end of the day and Daddy wants a little something, something. <laughs> and there's nothing, nothing. Guys, it's not that we don't love you. Your wives love you. Your wives think a sexy thought, a romantic thought, a silly thought, a naughty thought. We think about you all day long. But you know what stops us? This. Mommy, you know what I broke? Mommy's gonna fix it. Mommy, you know what I have to have tomorrow? Mommy's gonna get it. Mommy, I broke my color pencils all day. We're putting out fires. Mommy's gonna do it. Mommy's gonna fix it. Mommy's gonna help you. And we finally get to bed and we close our eyes and there you poor guys are, wanna do it, wanna do it, wanna see it, wanna touch it, wanna do it, wanna do it. Hurry up, let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, great, great. Okay, yeah, woo, okay, all done. Go to sleep. <laughs> we need transition time. I told my husband, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Sounds like our house. <laughs> I'm hiding in the curtains. But I wasn't doing it enough with my husband. I told him, look, I'll tell you what. I know I have been turning you down more than a bad credit card. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I will do any freaky thing your mind can come up with, but I don't want to see a kid from 4 o'clock on. I just want to go in the bedroom and fly my freak flag. I don't want to see a kid. I don't want to smell a kid. I don't want to hear a kid. I heard my husband clothesline one of the children in the hallway. Oh, that's great. Got a freak of throat. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so romantic. That night for dinner, the children had Fruit Loops. He didn't even pour it in a bowl. He just poured milk in the box and told them they were camping. He didn't give the baby a bath. He just put her to bed like that and said, where the hell is she going tomorrow? 